Hello everyone, welcome back, I am KK. In previous video, we have learned Python interactive mode which was good to test single line statements with immediately displayed output. In this video, you will learn Python script mode. In script mode, we put multiple Python statements as a batch and run them as a script. I am going to show you a series of operations as a script in a separate file then we will run it using python shell let's play with some code see in interactive mode we executed some statement let's play with some code see first in interactive mode we execute some statement then we will try to execute the same set of statements as a python script this is python idle and this shows we are in python interactive mode i am tapping 10 here pressing enter it is showing 10 i am writing another statement 3.14 pressing enter it is showing 3.14 i am writing a string say crash it is showing the string crash I am performing an operation 3 into 9, it is showing the result 27. I am writing a print statement, it is showing hello world. This is our interactive mode. To create a script, you need to put these statements together as a script file. You can use any editor like notepad, notepad++ or any other of your choice. Here. I am using notepad. I am putting all the statements together in this notepad file. The same statements as I have performed in interactive mode. You can see I have written the same statements which we performed in interactive mode. All are same here. I am saving this file with the name demo i am saving it with the extension dot py which stands for python you can save it with any extension it is not necessary to put py but it is recommended because if you want to use these file in future you can specify that the py extension shows python files now i am saving it it has been saved. We will open this file in Python idle. To open this file, go to the file, open. You can see this demo file here. We select the file. It is showing the file type is Python file. Open it. A new window will open and we can see our file here. To run this file, you can press F5 from your keyboard. It will run all the statements in this file in one go. I am pressing F5. You can see the output here. But what is happening here? You can see only a single statement, hello world. You can see only a single statement displayed from this file. We are in script mode, not in interactive mode. So, in script mode, you need to specify function which you need to perform. So, let's first check. We have not given the print statement here. So, we will write print statement before each statement. We put the print command before each statement. Now, we will run it and see the output by pressing F5. I'm pressing OK. You can see the result here. All the statements has been printed. I'm creating another script file. We will see another example. Here I'm creating another script file. Say 
we need to print variable x we need to print the variable x write print x we want to print x variable with addition 2 which is x plus 2 we will put in the container y is equal to x plus 2 print the value of y you can say multiple lines of statements need to process with the help of script mode first save this file press f5 you can see the output it is printing the value of x and the value of x with the increment x plus 2 the value of x here is 5 you can see it is printed here also you can see the value of y which is x plus 2 that is 7 you can see the output as using print function in interactive mode you would have to type it again and again by pressing enter writing a statement one by one but in script mode just write multiple lines run all at a time and print the output that's the difference between script mode and interactive mode i hope you understand the difference between interactive mode and script mode it was helpful for you if you like please subscribe thanks for watching